Shakira Brown here, award-winning branding and business communication strategist and professional speaker. And this is a message really focused in on how to communicate with empathy as it relates to the coronavirus. I have led internal communications departments and have had to deal with various sensitive topics. Dealing with something that is unknown is probably going to be extremely challenging for most internal communicators, whether you work in the communications department or you're just leading a team of people. You have to be able to understand that there's going to be panic, right? And there's gonna be employees that are uncomfortable. And you're gonna to have to find a way to be as empathetic as possible as it relates to individual feelings regarding the coronavirus. The reason I'm saying that you have to be empathetic is everybody handles these types of stressors differently. So you can't tell people not to panic. Don't do that. I'm gonna give you an example of, of, of when that, of something uh, that happened to me when I worked at a small PR uh, firm in New York City on Madison Avenue. And I happened to be at that agency on the day of 9-11. And the one thing I remember my, uh, the owner of the company saying was not to panic and everything was gonna be fine. Well, we all know what happened at, within the first, you know, 25 minutes of, of, of what happened on that day. And one of the things I recall was that I had the instinct to wanna to get the heck out of New York City. And I was ready to do that right away. And because the owner of the company said, you know, not to panic and take it easy, I stood back and then I waited until he said, uh, after he saw what was happening and how bad it was, he decided, okay, everybody, you could go, just go, just go. And he just sent us off on our way. And I was, remember running down in the streets of, of New York City and trying to uh, find a way out of there. And I always decided after that, that I would never wait for someone else to tell me when it was okay to go. And I think that it's not your job as a leader in your organization to tell people not to panic. I don't think it's your job to tell them uh, how to take care of themselves. Your job is to be empathetic and to have a sensitivity to how individuals are taking this news, how they are managing it. You know, if someone's really, really upset and they're afraid and they're scared, you know, you should be empathetic enough to allow them to take whatever time they need. And I'm not saying you give them free days off. Let them use their sick days. Let them use their personal days um, if they need to take time off, if they feel like they're in some sort of danger. Um, I can also remember after uh, I dealt with the uh, in 9/11, uh, there was the, uh, the 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 weird East Coast earthquake, uh, not too long, probably about 10 years ago now, uh, that happened. And uh, since I already had been through something quite traumatic, that happened, and I was the heck out of there. I did not wait for anybody. I actually told my boss, "I'm out of here." As soon as it happened, I, I had my purse. I was ready to go. I, I didn't need to do anything, and I left on my own admonition. And I didn't care what the consequences were because I had to worry about my safety. And uh, about an hour or two later, the, the head of HR sent out a note and told people they could go home. I did not wait that time, okay? So I want you to know that you're gonna have to allow people to feel the way they need to feel. You need to communicate with empathy. Let them know that you're there to help. But if they need to take time for themselves, if they feel like they're, they're nervous or that they're in danger, to tell them to do what's best for them. That's what they need to hear. And uh, because people are, you know, fight or flight, right? So if you could find an in between there is if you let them know it's okay to flee, maybe they won't. Maybe you will be, re you giving them that type of empathy will be reassuring to them that things are gonna be okay. Uh, but you should not tell people not to panic. Let people feel what they feel and let them have the time they need. Let them know they can take the time that they need within the parameters of whatever policies you have at your organization. But just be sure to be empathetic in communication as it deals to the coronavirus. I hope this helps you to deal with what's to come. We still have a lot of unknowns, but I am certain that you will need to communicate about it and it needs to be done with empathy. And you need to do so clearly and you need to let people know that it's, they're okay in feeling how they feel about it. Hope this helps. Take care.